I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Monday morning and I just finished a workout I did a 20 minute full body strength workout and a 10 minute ab workout on the TV and now I am about to start work and I just heated up a big old bowl of soup um, again the same soup that I made at the beginning of vlogmas and this is probably like two servings normally but i have not had breakfast yet and so this is like breakfast and lunch so i know i'll be able to eat this entire bowl so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and eat my soup and start doing some work my first meeting is at noon oh and i put a bunch of hot sauce on the soup too because i know i made this soup with italian like hot italian sausage but it's actually not as spicy as it was the first the first day around so the spice must have mellowed out while it was in the freezer. Mm. You guys, the soup is so good. Oh my God, it's so good, I can't. It is about 3.30 and I've just been on meetings for basically the entire time I got off my last meeting about, <clears throat> about 15 minutes ago and I'm gonna take a quick break from work and I'm gonna slice the cheese biscuit cookies and bake those off and then um, I'm gonna pull the sugar cookie dough out of the fridge so that way it can soften a little bit so I can roll it out and then put it back in the fridge so that way it's chill before we cut it out. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm scoring these logs kind of all the way around because the dough was pretty stiff when it came out of the fridge and I didn't want it to break when I was slicing through it. So I'm basically just scoring around the log for each slice and then I slice all the way through and I'm cutting each slice about somewhere between a third and a half inch thick and I got a good amount of um biscuits out of these I think I got like 30 or something like that and so once I have all the biscuits cut out I lay them evenly on a cookie sheet and I don't really have to worry about these spreading too much because there's not a lot of liquid in them and then I'm just brushing the top of each one with an egg wash which is literally I just took an egg yolk and mixed a little bit of water in it and then on top of the egg wash I just sprinkled some of the same nut mixture that I rolled around the outside which was pistachios and chopped up almonds and now I'm sprinkling over top just a smidge of cayenne pepper and then I bake them at a 325 degree oven for about 12 to 14 minutes until they were set on the edges and just a little bit golden brown on the edges as well. I just pulled the cheese biscuits out of the oven and they look really good. I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. I've never done them slice and bake like this before and I actually, I think I prefer it. I think the original, original way is like you roll it all out and then you just cut it, which would be easy too, but I liked the uniformness of the slice and bake. Um, and then I think the recipe that I use actually is, it calls to pipe them out, but I did not want it. The recipe is for cheese straws, 
but I want to do biscuits. So it is time for the advent calendar. We are officially one week from Christmas and I cannot believe it. I feel like this month was going by really slow and now I'm like, we have a week until Christmas and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Okay, number 18. Obviously, I know what this one is. This one is the port wine cheese. I'm like looking forward to this because I like this one. This one is so good. I talked about it in the last time, but I swear if you guys have not had port wine cheese spread before, you gotta check it out. It's so good. Yeah, I love that one. Okay, I have another meeting. See you guys later. While I'm in my meeting, I'm gonna snack on these cuties and some chips and hummus. morning everybody today is tuesday december 19th last night i rolled out the dough into like a nice long flat um just slab and then i let it chill in the fridge overnight and then i just took it out and i rolled it out a little bit more because it's kind of thick but i actually i'm happy with the thickness of the cookies i thought that they were going to be too thick and so i just cut out most of the cookies and then i re-rolled out the rest of the scrap dough. And now everything is back in the fridge um, because it got too soft. And I, first of all, don't want to bake the cookies off while they're soft. And I also don't want to cut any of the dough while it's soft because you can't move it easily. So I'm gonna let that rest in the fridge for probably like an hour. And we're gonna go to the grocery store and just pick up a few things. Stay tuned for the rest of this video to watch the cookie decorating process. Okay. So we just got back from Publix and I'm gonna do a little grocery haul. Let's get it. So we got some like fun little snack things. Yeah, we're okay. So we got freeze-dried blueberries. These are like Pringles, but they're non-GMO. Just thought we'd try them out. We're trying to like find good alternatives for the foods that we eat pretty often. So, excuse you. Get out of the plastic bag. Um, two packs of King's Hawaiian. A bunch of bananas that literally was way more green in the store already like they're already starting to ripen bananas are freaking insane 
We got a bunch of ramen in like a bunch of different flavors. So I said in my last vlog, we ran out of shin. So I got a new pack of shin and as she, like at the grocery store, they always have um, the normal shin and then they have um, like sh the black shin, which is like a beef bone broth. And I want to try it so bad, but it's literally double the price than the normal shin. And I just can't get myself to do that. So normal shin. We got roast chicken cup noodle. I got messed up and another one. A pizza cutter because we have this, but sometimes we just want to use this. Okay, here's the rest of the ramen. So this is, I guess, just a different type of chicken ramen that Andy picked out. Ooh, my cookie cutter. And then, was this one that I picked out? No, okay. And then he got this hot and spicy chicken one. And then these are the ones that I picked out for me. So this is a laksa curry instant noodle. I'm kind of excited about this, to be honest. This one is chicken pho. And then this one is gonna rip up my asshole the day after I eat it. But this one is a hot and spicy, literally five peppers, what's it called? Molten chili chicken. So I'm a little bit nervous for this one, honestly, but I'm also excited about it. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Next, we got some Annie's mac and cheeses. So, this one's just normal mac and cheese. This one is um, shells and aged cheddar. And then we got the organic plain mac and cheese to kind of do a little bit of a comparison. We're obviously not gonna make them at the same time, but just to see how it is. Last in the pasta realm is this braised beef and red wine ravioli, which sounded really good. So we just picked up some of the, we love a good like easy pasta dinner. Grape jelly Uncrustables. One beef pot pie. One chicken pot pie. And a four pack of turkey pot pies. So these are good for Andy, like quick and he wanted to just try all the different ones. So that's why we got a few different flavors. Two lemons, three frozen pizzas, and we always get the four cheese from Red Baron. And typically we get the classic crust, which we got two of those, but we also are gonna try out the brick oven crust and see how that one tastes a thing of baby spinach, Martin's potato bread, but this is whole wheat potato bread. So we're just gonna test this one out and see how it is because we usually buy the potato bread and I've been trying to get Andy to eat a little bit more fiber. So I figured that's like kind of a good um, balance. And we got some, like I was saying earlier, some just fun little snack things. So here is a trail mix and then this one is like a different type of trail mix it's like it was like a limited edition blueberry almond something and it looked really good so i wanted to try this one and then we've got some classic yogurt covered raisins and then i found these i saw these little organic fruit shoes and they caught my eye because they actually don't have any dye in them they're colored by um fruit and vegetable juice and then spirulina extract and that's it so i was kind of interested in these we got some freeze-dried strawberry and bananas some vanilla wafer cookies which are just so delicious chocolate chips for the um sugar cookies some ritz chips 
a loaf of Publix Italian bread and a new bag of cuties. Groceries are put away. I just preheated the oven to 300 degrees on convection. So, cause typically for sugar cookies, I would want to bake them on 325, but when you use convection, you go 25 degrees lower even more. So I'm going to bake them at 300 cause I don't want them to get brown. I want them to stay nice and blonde. Bake off the first batch and cut out the rest and put the ones that I cut out back in the fridge so that way they can set up and then I'll bake those off too. Hey guys, here's what I have for breakfast. A couple of them. I hope you know I leave that shit. <laughs> I just finished up baking off all the cookies and I'm so happy with how they turned out, honestly. Especially because if you watched the last video of Vlogmas, you'll know that I completely messed up the recipe. But I have to say, I honestly think that they turned out better the way that I did them than they would have if I hadn't followed the recipe because the recipe called for like, like a way greater ratio of sugar to flour and personally i believe that that would have made the cookies spread way more so uh they turn out great they look perfect and i'm just letting them cool and we're gonna decorate them later and i'm gonna start my work day and have a snack of these little ritz cheese and crackers and of course, a couple of cuties. Um, okay, so I just made some lunch. Really scraping it together here. Um, I took the, you guys can't even see that, the leftover refried beans from when I made nachos the other night. And I just mixed in some salsa and I sprinkled some cheddar cheese on top and I stuck it in the air fryer and i'm having that and tortilla chips for lunch sorry the lighting is so yellow but that's what it looks like Hey guys, so it is about 6.30 now. I just finished up my work day, hopefully. Earlier, you guys saw that, excuse me. Earlier, you guys saw that I baked off all the sugar cookies and now I'm going to be making the frosting from them. So I'm gonna be making royal icing and I'm going to actually be pasteurizing it, which I have never done before for royal icing, but I don't really think it should be very difficult and it just makes me feel a little bit better um, knowing that I'm gonna be giving these cookies away that I 
cook these egg whites. So first things first, I'm gonna fill up a pot with water. Oh my gosh, you guys, I literally have the exact amount of powdered sugar that I need. That's so sick. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here is pouring powdered sugar over a bon marie with egg whites, rum, and vanilla. And then I'm whisking the paste together. And as it warms up, it's gonna get much more liquidy. And basically I'm just heating it until it reaches 165 degrees for five seconds or more. And then once it reaches the temperature that it needs to, I'm gonna put it on the mixer and put in a little bit more powdered sugar and let it beat until it's cool. And honestly, I did have to add some liquid to this because it was way too thick, but I ended up having a good amount of royal icing. And now I'm doing the same thing I was doing earlier. I'm putting the chocolate in a bowl over a bun marie so that way it will melt and I can start to use it to decorate the cookies.
So it is many hours later. It's like 10 o'clock and I have done about as much cookie decorating as I have in me for today, considering I still have to clean up. But I had so much fun and I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorites. So I really love how these little holly leaves came out. And I really love this snowflake, honestly. It's like super simple, but I love, I love it. <sighs> this one's my favorite stocking. It's just like a simple plain one, but it turned out really good. So I'm happy with it. I love this star. I love the look of a fully covered non pareil cookie and this one has chocolate on it so I like the contrast you can see like a little bit of the chocolate and I really like this one and then these are the two little candy canes that I really like this one's a little bit messy but it's more of like your classic candy cane look and then this one I kind of did just some stripes well guys I did it after literally been talking about it for five days We've baked and decorated cookies. So now I have all of my treats. I have the bark, I have the cheddar biscuits, and I have my cookies. Those are gonna set and dry overnight, let the icing set up. And then I'll package them up. Uh, I'm gonna take them to the crossing guards. And we have a couple of neighbors that I'll pass them out to, too. I actually just remembered we have to do the advent calendar. I cannot believe that it is the 19th. Like, where has the month gone? I feel like it was so slow. And then all of a sudden, it's the 19th. Number 19. some sort of cheddar or something it's like i remember last time i think that i, I think i thought this was parmesan because it's like a really hard cheese i have no idea it's some sort of like maybe aged cheddar extra mature cheddar i would call that aged mm. oh my gosh it's so good especially like I haven't really been eating a lot of the cookies or anything, but as I've been icing the stuff from the piping bags, like if there's any dripping out or whatever, I just like use my finger, just licking it. So I did have quite a few licks of icing and chocolate. <laughs> so the cheese tastes really good after that sweetness. Nugget, what are you eating? All right, guys. We're gonna call it a night. I have to clean this kitchen because I do not want to have to do it in the morning. You say, bye, see you next time. <sighs> All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Vlogmas. There's only two episodes left, two videos of Vlogmas left. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Vlogmas, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or click the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.